Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech-related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're gonna talk about porting a landline number over to Google Voice and hear from my friend Gary, who actually went through this process. So you're probably wondering, why port to Google Voice? Well, I can think of two reasons right off the bat. The first reason is, it's free. According to Google, all calls within the domestic US and Canada are free. While the other calls are based on the rate of one cent per minute, and international calls are billed according to a schedule that's posted on Google's website. Now, the second reason I can think of is being able to maintain that well-distributed phone number that you have had for years. Think about it. How many of you have a landline number that you're paying to a carrier every month and because you just basically don't want to lose that number, so you pay that fee every month to hold on to your number? Well, with Google Voice, you can port that number over to their free service. So porting to Google Voice is a multi-step process in the sense that you can't go directly from a landline over to Google. You have to port the number to a mobile carrier, then over to Google Voice. So here are a few steps to hopefully make your process go smoothly. First, purchase a SIM card with a prepaid amount of time. Once you purchase the SIM card, you port the landline number over to that mobile carrier's SIM card. While you're waiting for the port to happen, you create a free Google Voice account. Once the port has successfully happened and the number is active on the mobile carrier's SIM card, you can then port it away from the mobile carrier and over to Google Voice. The total cost for porting from your landline over to Google Voice is less than $35. A starter kit from T-Mobile, like this one here on Amazon, is $9.95. One month of prepaid service from T-Mobile is $3, and then the port fee for Google is $20. So now we're going to hear from a friend of mine, Gary, who recently went through the process. So hey Gary, how are you doing today? Welcome, and I thank you for... Uh taking the time to share with us. And just so everybody knows, Gary works with us here at Quick Tech Solutions. So real quick, before we get started with the porting experience, why don't you tell some of the viewers, you know, a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm um, retired now from law enforcement career. Uh, been down in North Carolina about four years. Part of my uh, responsibilities at my prior job was doing um, surveillance work, things of that sort. So I got a little bit of a tech knowledge behind me. Prior to that, I did construction for several years with a general contract, so I'm also capable of doing little jobs around my house, as long as uh, I don't mind the fact that uh, it's sometimes not perfect. <laughs> but now I'm working with Tony the last couple of years and enjoying uh, enjoying doing this type of work. I hear you, and you've been, a, you've been a great asset to us and uh, made a lot of things possible for us along the way as well. Thanks. So, yeah. Wonderful having you on board with the uh, company as well. So in any event, I understand you recently uh, ported your landline uh, over to Google Voice. And I, I know, you know, I did a little bit of um, a prep before this segment in the video explaining some of the steps to what's involved. But you actually went through the process. So I, if you would be so kind, just um, tell the viewers what it was like and... Uh, let them know how your overall experience went and was it successful in the end? Right. Um, well, initially, we had our landline through uh, one of the large providers here. It came across as a package with my, uh, with my internet. But I realized after a while that most of the phone calls I was receiving were phone calls that I didn't even care about. So it made no sense to continue paying the price that I was paying for my landline through them. Um, and just talking with you, you, you explained to me that there was a process in which I could bring it over onto Google Voice, but there were certain steps to take along the way. Um, so again, knowing a little bit about technical stuff, I, I understood what you were saying. So even against my wife's own advice, <laughs> I decided to try it on my own rather than having you hold my hand along the way. Um, and my first step was finding a, a mobile carrier to provide the SIM card as well as being able to get a small amount of service. I didn't want to pay for a year pro uh, program through, through a mobile carrier just in order to port it over. 
so um, I went to T-Mobile. On their website, you're able to, to basically purchase 30 minutes of, of time for very reasonable. I think it's four dollars or something like that. And with that, I, I also purchased the um, the two-in-one SIM card. They call it their starter kit. So that provided me a SIM card with 30 minutes attached to it. And then my process was going to be obviously porting my landline to that. And then once that was ported, my landline then became a mobile number. And a Google Voice, as you know, requires a mobile number if you're looking to port into Google Voice. So the process was for my landline to go to T-Mobile as, as a mobile number and then port over to Google Voice at that point. Um, the process was fairly smooth. Um, the the T-Mobile, I think, is experienced in having people that are doing exactly what I was doing with the questions along the way. They understood that when I said it's a, my landline that I now want to put in Google Voice, they knew what I was talking about. Um, so they were now eligible along the way. So there wasn't any questions as far as what are you trying to do or anything of that sort. Um, I did it without actually loading the SIM into anything. Uh, you can put it into a phone and, and activate and use it from there. Um, but I chose not to do that. And uh, the process um, from start to finish probably took me about five or six days just for process time because as T-Mobile and even as Google Voice explained, the, the major carriers uh, as the one that I had my landline in don't necessarily like giving up those numbers. They drag their feet a little bit and if it's a you know 24 to 48 hour process, you know they're going to take all of the 48 hours. Well, that so, yeah, that makes sense because they don't—they obviously don't want to lose you as a customer. Lose me as a customer or my money. Okay. Um, so the process along the way was the approximately 48 hours to, to switch over from the landline out to T-Mobile, and then another 48 hours from T-Mobile to uh, port into my Google Voice account. Now, um, I mentioned to the viewers in the first part of the video that the whole process there is a cost involved in the process. Obviously, you had to get the SIM card, pay right. for some time. Um, and then there's a porting fee to Google Voice, I, but I had mentioned that for let you could do this if that's what you really want to do for less than thirty-five dollars. And is I, that is that was, what you found? Yeah, it was right around thirty-five dollars. I think the T-Mobile for the SIM card, the thirty minutes, I, I think they call it pay as you go. I think that was about fifteen dollars, okay. and then the twenty-dollar porting fee. Okay, uh, so it's pretty it, close. Pretty close. Yeah, it, it was really not not a, a, a it was a no-brainer in order to, to to pay the money now. It was probably less than what I paid per month for the line anyway through the other carrier, so it was well worth it. Right. So now you successfully got the number over to Google Voice. Right. And now how are you, you're accessing the number how, through a handset or through the just through, Google just, apps? Um, I built it in my account, and I'll explain later where I would probably do it differently. Um, I built it in my Google account, which allows me to um, have my wife share the number with me on her phone, but on her separate Google account. Uh, the only difference is she can only access the phone calls. She will not receive the, the messages or the um, or the voicemails, and that's because I built it on my account. And that's something I would tell people to make sure before you attach or activate Google Voice that you're using the account that you want the primary. Uh, responsibility for my wife really wanted the landline on her phone and have everything because I rarely pick it up but by building it in my account unfortunately I'm kind of locked into it now where I get the text messages and the, uh, the voicemails but she still can pick it up when it rings and she'll and she beats me to the phone every time anyway <laughs> it really doesn't matter gotcha. all right so let me ask you this you've gone through the process a couple days four or five maybe six days you said um, Fairly simple process, pretty much anyone can do. Yep. If they follow just several steps. Yep. Um, having gone through it, what have you learned? Uh, what would you, is there anything you can share that you would have done differently now, knowing what you know? Um, I know we talked offline a little bit about how you set up the SIM card initially. Um, right. Maybe share that tidbit yeah, with I mean, the viewers. What I said as far as making sure that you open it or create it in the account that you want the, the most uh, availability for. Uh, when I first purchased the SIM card through T-Mobile, there was a spot on their webpage that asked if you were gonna port to a different number, if that was your plan. And I put my landline in there. That put a cog in the works the entire time I was trying to activate the SIM card. 
I would recommend to people let the, let them give you a temporary number. Okay. Activate your card, then port your number over to it because what happens is until you port that number, every time you call for assistance of any type, they're asking you what your mobile T your T Mobile number is. You technically don't have one. Okay. So by then assigning you one from the bat, it'll help you along the way as far as your customer support, but also I it. Um, like I said, the cog in the works was when I went to activate it was saying that it was reserved. And what happened is I reserved it through the, the web page when I bought it, technically, as that's how they perceived it. And that really slowed up the process. I would say, again, let them give you a temporary number. Once you activate, then roll it over onto your mail. It won't take you too much time extra, and you'll probably have a lot less headaches. Right. And once you got it to T-Mobile, the porting process to Google was Google was simple. great. Google will tell you along the way, they knew that the process from going from my landline to the T-Mobile with, with the number. So as, as long as my main carrier had that number as a landline, Google kept saying, I don't recognize that number, I'm not gonna allow you to port it. Magically, somehow along the way, not even 10 minutes after T-Mobile said, okay, your number is rolled over, I went to Google Voice and they said, welcome to Google Voice. Okay, we're going to roll it over because it's now being recognized as a mobile. So, it, and they basically told me tomorrow morning at eight thirty-six, it's going to be ported, and I think they were off by a minute. Oh wow! It was really that it was really that good. That's awesome. And it started working right away. Cool. And now you've had it for what? About a week, week and a half? Probably about a week. Um, and you're... my wife loves it because it, first of all, you differentiate between regular incoming calls because it's it'll ask, it prompts you, incoming call, will you accept the call? Okay. That's how she knows it's coming from that landline. And probably what I bet you most viewers probably right now are asking the question, quality, call quality. Um, have you found um, any, no. you know, loss of quality? Um, you're happy with the sound quality on, of the call? I'm happy with it. And it also provides some additional uh, features that I didn't have with it on my landline. I mean, one thing is uh, leaving text messages. Okay. On, my, on that landline now, um, but also through Google Voice, it, it, there's a, a, a narrator for your text messages, for your voice, uh, voicemails. So it, it actually provides a lot more features than I had with it when it was on landline. So we're happy. We're Very happy. cool. Yeah. Hey man, um, I appreciate you taking the time to do this interview, and um, hopefully a lot of the viewers out there, if they're contemplating it now, maybe will feel a little bit more confident in right. making the jump just based on hearing your experience. So, um, again, I thank you. Um, lovely having you aboard with the company. I look forward to the next time we go out in the field together. And uh, for now, that's it, man. Thank you. I hey, appreciate it, Tony. And again, for the people that are listening, it, it's really not a difficult process. Uh, it, it walks you along the way. Um, and the bottom line is you're not paying for that landline any longer, and all your phones are ringing through your cell phone. So it's a great process. And I thank Tony for for touching me on it to begin with. Um, my wife may not thank you for all the streaming <laughs> that I did along the way, but, but again, we're real happy with it, and I can't wait to uh, to, to see my next phone bill from uh, the main carrier without that, that landline on it. So thank you for that, and uh, I'll see you out there. All right, Take man. Care. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. For those of you that prefer a traditional handset like a cordless phone, you can use an adapter like this one that's available on Amazon, the OBI 200. It's a one-port VoIP phone adapter that works with Google Voice. Here's a look at the front of the unit. On the rear of the unit, you have a phone port, a USB port, which can be used with a wireless adapter, your internet port, and your 12-volt DC power port. So I hope you liked this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. I'd like to thank Gary for his time and sharing his experience with us. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.